Hello everybody and welcome to a new P4A3 screencast. Today we'll take a look at some cool multi-database functionalities that are coming with P4A3. Okay, let's start taking a look at uh, the product catalog sample and uh, in the index.php uh, file. As you may know, P4A3 supports MySQL, PostgreSQL, Oracle and SQLite database engines. Now we have set up uh, the MySQL database for our sample and we can try it in our browser. After login we can see that we have two records here and in the brands combo box we have three values brands one, two, three. Okay now we'll do a little test switching our database engine to PostgreSQL. I created the database on the server and restart our application. We have to log in again. Okay, now we see that we have one record and the brand's combo box is quite different because all the values have the PGSQL prefix. So, uh, the first conclusion we can see is that uh, just uh, switching a constant in our code, switch the um, database engine, and uh, without any changes to the code, the application is running. Okay, now we'll do another test. Let's go back again to MySQL and let's open the uh, products catalog.php file. On line 81, we build the brand's DB source and uh, we'll do this little test using the setDSN function. Let's uncomment it. We set for this uh, DB source this DSN which points to the PostgreSQL database. Okay. Now we'll restart our application in our, our browser. We have to log in again. Here we are. You can see that we have two records here because it's the MySQL database. Do you remember? But looking at the brand's combo box, you can see that we have the PGSQL prefix. Thus, the brand's combo box is uh, taken from the PGSQL database while the rest of the application is uh, running on MySQL. So you can just imagine all the possibilities that uh, this feature will give to you. This is all for this quizcast. Thank you everybody and uh, see you soon on P4A TV.